Before the break, we looked at solutions to create sustainable homes. We can always improve the efficiency of existing homes, and we can build near zero waste homes from the ground up. But no matter how little energy our homes consume, there's always going to be waste of a different sort. I'm talking garbage. Our final solution comes from Ryan Bedard of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Inspired by composting laws in San Francisco, Ryan formed a company called Eco Movement in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Eco Movement specializes in composting. It's a solution that can save our landfills a lot of waste. And for businesses, it's a solution that can definitely reduce the amount of trash all the way each week. Last week, Ryan let us ride along on one of his newly introduced residential composting pickup runs. So today we're going to have a uh, pickup for about seven residents. Um, we just started the program this last month and it's still growing. So one of our newest clients uh, will be delivering a bin and that includes one of these compostable liners. We always give some flyers to pass out to other neighbors. And we give a list of what can and can't go in the compost. As well as our own sticker to put on their, their vehicle. So we'll be dropping this bin off this morning. We have another resident uh, who had a smaller bin, so we'll be swapping out her bin for a bigger one. And we'll be picking up some food waste on the way. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the United States generates more than 34 million tons of food waste each year, and less than 3% of that waste is recycled. So Ryan Bedard just might be on to something with this residential composting pickup service. I'm hoping it can open the door to thinking about consumption and, uh, you know, sustainability in a whole, how wasteful we are as a society. So. Ryan's company, Eco Movement, not only educates clients on waste reduction and composting, they'll actually pick up compostables so clients don't have to maintain a compost bed of their own. I, I often feel like uh, I'm the milkman that, you know, someone's going to come out and see the bin and, and just get a smile on their face because they, you know, they get to start diverting their food waste from a landfill and so it's, it makes me feel good whenever I drop off a new bin. So what kinds of things are compostable? That's a lot of vegetation. It's good to check too to see if we got any contamination. See this is a, a good example of something you know a lot of people go to uh, takeout restaurants um, and they'll get these compostable containers and then they don't know what to do with them so a lot of times it just ends up in the landfill and so we can take this stuff and we can take all the corn-based stuff and compost it because at a commercial facility the heats are hot enough to activate the resins in those things whereas your backyard compost you don't get those heats necessary to do it so it's cool to see that in there looks like you got some fruits and veggies in there too composting is not you know there's a lot of logistics involved it's not super easy to do that so you know we're just getting the start on it and hopefully it'll take off. Apartment complexes is one of the reasons why we wanted to offer the service too is because you have people that live in apartment complexes and either have no yard or if they have a yard it's very little and it's shared. I think it's just like you know getting home heating oil that's biofuel or you know driving a diesel or a hybrid or something you know it's kind of people get really excited about it and they feel empowered because you know you can't do everything but for a long time you know, time, I've always said, you know, closing the loop one small step at a time, you know, taking one small step each day because that adds up. It's going great. It's going great. It's really reducing my garbage. I take one bag to the dump every two weeks. Um, it's, uh, it reduces the food smell in the house. I feel like I'm really doing something that's important Absolutely. and meaningful. These are compostable, by the way. No, 
I'm not going to stop what I'm doing and a lot of other companies that are doing what they're doing aren't doing it to make money, they do it because they truly believe that what they're doing is making change and so, you know, putting that positive energy out there still will have uh, a positive impact and I think the more people that do it, the more change we'll see and so my hope is that people realize that they have an effect sooner than, than later and that's, that's our goal with you know, this company is to raise that level of awareness so people will become educated and, and have the knowledge to make the change that needs to happen.